I think there's nothing more off-putting to people who want to get into a subject to be told that somehow we're all terribly worried it's going down the tubes. You know, this is a subject which is really interesting. And I try, for example, to say, um, there are in Cambridge now, and I, this is true of many universities, which just happen to be able to do the figures in Cambridge, there are more people studying classics than there ever were, ever. Now, we all know the fallacy with that argument that there is a smaller proportion of the university, you know. But in raw numbers, there's more of us. Now, nobody ever says that. They will, you know, always they're saying, oh, not enough people are taking Latin at school and, you know, dot, dot, dot. And, and you know, they, I, I think that somehow we need to do a bit of boasting about this. You know, and I was really touched the other day because I'd, um, when Hillary Clinton was in um, the UK, I, I met her, we talked about. Classic. Well, we're talking about loads of things, but including classics. She then went up to do a big, a big, a big lecture at a literary festival, and then she came along and she said, uh, and she talked about Telemachus shutting up Penelope, right? And I thought, right, that's what we want you to do. You know, we want you to be talking about those kind of things as if they're things that that not. I'm now going to be telling you something extremely rarefied, which nobody will know because nobody knows anything about the ancient world, but to take this for granted and to use it in your life. And that's it. So I, and I absolutely agree. It, take, it takes a lot, though, I think, to change the kind of general curmudgeonliness of classicists, you know, because they're always wanting to say, well, you know, and they always have, as I think I say in that paper, you know, you, I remember going back to all this stuff at the beginning of the 19th, at the beginning of the 20th century, the end of the 19th, um, I, I, I couldn't believe what I was reading. I'd always been told that that was the glory days of classics in Cambridge, in the UK. Everybody, you know, it might all have been at public school, but nevertheless, you know, everybody knew Latin. They could translate anything at sight. You know, Pindar and scenes was as nothing to them, you know, kind um, and, and then I came across all this stuff and they're saying how awful it all is and how the subject's going down the tubes. And we've got to start the Classical Association because otherwise there won't be a subject. And you think, suddenly you see that this is built into the subject of classics. It is built in saying, somebody before us could always do it better. You know, and they would, are not, as I think I said, I think it probably goes back to about the second century AD, possibly earlier. You know, so it's very, it's a very hard ship to turn round. You know, because somehow the subject is is kind of constructed around the idea that, you know, we are keeping the barbarians out. We're not quite as good at it as the guys back then. And it's always about <coughs> the gerund and not being able to translate Pindar. These guys in Cambridge couldn't translate Pindar either. <laughs>